Okay, we got Nate here from Occupy Caravan, formerly of Occupy DC Media. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so how was your trip? Tell us about it. Uh, it's been pretty incredible. I mean, when you go across the country and you, you know, just throw yourself in all these different places, of course, it's going to be incredible. Uh, we started out from Los Angeles on June 11th. It's, what is it, the 28th now? So. 17, 18 days. Um, um, it's, just, it's just been wonderful and meeting all these different people. Each occupation is a, is a microcosm of that city. So like as you meet each occupation, you're basically getting a really good taste of that city, uh, especially the heart of that city. Um, and a couple of them have really blown my mind. Like uh, Amarillo, Texas, they only had five people. That's the largest they ever got was five people, but they've made change. Um, uh, the mayor passed a law saying that if you wanted to feed the homeless, you couldn't cook food in your home and then bring it to them. Which wow. they figured, what? So, on Christmas Day, they went to the steps of the city hall there and had piles of shepherd's pie and gave it all out to the homeless and fed them. And a week later, or a week or two later, uh, uh, that law was retracted. They got rid of that law. In Norman, Oklahoma, uh, they, they only got about 20 to 30 occupiers total, you know, it's as big as they got. They found out that the city council's money had been sitting in a Bank of America, $150 million in a Bank of America. So what they did, uh, they found out that this year was the year, you know, it's like something every five years they can move where the money is to a different bank. So they all went to the city council and said, we want this move to a local bank, get it out of Bank of America's coffers. And they did it. $150 million taken from BOA, put in a local bank. Uh, which I think is more than like, you know, in terms of making actual change, it's more than what big city occupations have done. Big city occupations are about getting the media and getting the word out there, which is incredible. You know, if it wasn't for the big city occupations, these little occupations wouldn't be going on. Uh, but it's just incredible, you know, you think 20 people versus you know, thousands in New York, uh, and that these 20 people are making such big change. It's incredible. So that was my favorite part. So speaking of groups of five or groups of twenty, what's their impression of the bigger groups like Oakland or DC or New York? Uh, they utmost respect, utmost love. They're proud of them. You know, they're the reason that they've come out. Right. So it's, it's a little, like, they idealize it a little bit, um, but it's it's still. You know, wonderful OWS, you know, I tell them, like, I was there for three months and they, like, want to shake my hand. So, it's, uh, it's really cool. So, do you have a, a particular traveling anecdote? Anything strange happen along the way? That's a good one. I, I might be too tired right now to think of something specific. creative prop there I've ever seen. It was a shopping cart. I remember. With uh, a dog on it, a plastic dog on it, an <laughs> engine in it, and these big PA system on it, and just blasting, you know, Rage Against the Machine, you name it, just blasting rock music while we're going down. And he's sitting on top of his dog driving it. That was really good. That was probably my favorite. My favorite. I, I was watching the stream then, and I remember him almost driving. Was it City Hall he that you guys? City Hall, and he put the head of the dog in there. And I <laughs> yeah. talked to him afterwards. He put the head of the dog through the doorway, and then he backed out. And I talked to him afterwards, and he said, you know, I was really considering putting it in there, but then I'd lose the dog. He wants, to, he wants to do a lot of cool stuff with it. He wants to add lights to it and a smoke machine and laser lights. You name it, it's going to be on that dog one day. So. You want to say hi? hi? Welcome, Nate, home? Hola. Welcome home. <laughs> this is like Occupy Car Carlo. Yeah, absolutely. So I did a lot of that Grateful Dead tour traveling around. Yeah. It gets really hairy sometimes. Yeah. Getting really close and personal with other occupiers. Yeah. Very up it's just like any other occupation. You know, have your uh, ugly parts that you work your own, there's one of the GAs there. Yeah, definitely. Looking forward to Philly. 
Yeah. That's yeah. five days. I'm sure you're yeah. going crazy because you do actuals everywhere you stop. Yeah, right. But the, uh, it's the adrenaline, you know, the adrenaline makes up for the loss of sleep. That's why I need action because adrenaline, I don't want to need to eat. As long as I have water, I'm fine. I can keep going, march, march, march. But it's going to be hot. So. All right, everybody who watches this, I just want to say, I don't know how Nate has the energy, but he's thinking about doing the guitar march. march. So Let's we'll see. Right. Maybe I'll learn how to sleepwalk. At least you'll have music. Yeah, right? I think the guitar, guitar army. Yeah, yeah. I bet owner Tom Morello starting that off. He is. I, I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, he's starting the 99 mile march? He's going to be so. there. Yeah. Cool. So it's Roseanne Barr, a whole bunch of people. Oh, that's it. All right. All right, so everybody come out to Philly, hashtag N-A-T, G-A-T. June 30th to Nat July 4th, Nat Gat. Yeah. Okay. Lots of teachings, actions every single day. Of course, we're going to be there. You know there's going to be fun. Like this. Yeah, 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 I just cut mine off. It, was, it got really long. That's what said. I got sick in New York and then just did this first time I really came out to do this. And I want to thank everybody for helping out Travis. Thank you very much. Yep. We did a big fundraiser for Travis last week to get his phone back up and going. Yeah, I got just enough for the phone bill. That's good. It's like, <laughs> somehow, somehow it was $292. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, so. All right. Well, see you in Philly.